Hello everyone, the T Man 24 here, and today we are doing another FTB um tutorial, FTB monitor tutorial, and today it's going to be on oh one minute, let me delete these. The Aqueous Accumulator. Okay, this is a very simple machine. It's easy to work. It won't be hard at all. Let me just get myself a little bit of cobblestone. There we go. So what you're gonna need first is I'm just gonna make it on my house a three by two area. So like so. So three by two. And what you wanna do is oh for this example of how to use the aqueous accumulator, we are going to try to get water from in here over to here. Because that's how you will really probably be using the aqueous accumulator. I'll teach you how to use it with machines a little bit later. Anyway, so for the aqueous accumulator work, it has to have um, water on a lot of its sides. So the suggested way to do it is 3 by 2 like this. You place one bucket here, another bucket on the other side, causing the middle one to become a source, um, source block. Then, on that source block in the middle, you place the aqueous accumulator and as you can see this its water is filling up and there we go it's now full so at this point its configuration is output everywhere we don't really need that it all yeah it doesn't matter but wherever you want it the water to go that's where you want to have the output um so to we're gonna have the fluid ducts on top of it so we are going to um, have the output on top of it so for this as you can see I haven't even done anything I'll actually also give myself a wrench that way I can set it so this is just output and I'll activate it with a lever now I'm gonna build across here and oh okay it's building up very slowly but oh man interesting it stopped pumping water maybe it was the lever oh you know what you can do you can just oh you you don't need you don't need to uh flip it so that it's output so just keep it normal uh, colored and it'll automatically go from the aqueous accumulator into the tanks I was thinking about you do you do have to do that for a couple things but it's usually for like item ducts and stuff which I'll explain in another episode so as you can see the tanks are filling up and that's how you're going to use it now another way that you can use an aqueous accumulator is say you wanted let's see a steam okay yep steam dynamo well man I only need one of those and okay so let's break these guys so one minute a steam dynamo and what is it or actually that's that's all you need. I I need coal though. Or not that kind of coal. This kind of coal. And then I'll have an energy source. This is the easiest way for a power source with using the aqueous accumulator. Energy. Okay. This is fine. I'll use this. And I'm also gonna need redstone energy conduit. And there it is. Okay. Oh, here I'll use a stack of those. Okay. So, what you want to do is, again, since I'm going to have the steam dynamo on top of the aqueous accumulator, you want the output on top. And then I'll put the steam dynamo on top. Now, so what this is doing is the aqueous accumulator fills the steam dynamo with water. And I don't need to have it right on top of it. I could have blue ducts leading to the steam dynamo. But this is just simpler. And then you put coal in 
um, the steam dynamo and it creates steam which then is used to create RF or energy so just to show you that it's working I'll place this over here and there we go RF is being created this is the simplest way right when you start in FTB survival to create energy there's not it's not hard to make one minute I'll show you switch over to game mode S and search for the aqueous accumulator there we go oh oh I'm on here I actually have to change this real quick there we go and now you'll be able to see okay well I guess that's not working anyway anyway guys I hope you understand that you you can look up the recipe for yourselves in NEI but I hope you guys liked it this was the team man 24 and if you did like comment subscribe it really does help me out and uh, check out my other videos I have a ton of FTB tutorials FTB monitor tutorials anyway see you guys later